Hello, I'm Steve Zack, Technical Instructor. Welcome to the EasyTap Heavy Duty Scan Tool Training Video. We're going to show you all our product and we're going to look at each component in each kit. EasyTap is our latest wireless heavy duty scan tool. It works on 802.15.4. The SPX EasyTap Heavy Duty Diagnostics Tool is a scan tool and a telematics device. As a telematics device, it can be used to look at the truck as it comes into the yard within approximately 1,000 foot range. As the truck pulls in, I'll be able to look at the mileage it went out with, the mileage it came back with, the fuel mileage, the total number of miles driven, and I can determine if it's got any fault codes, any diagnostic problems. From there, I can determine whether I want to send the truck over to be unloaded. Once it's unloaded, send it over to the repair facility to have the diagnostic trouble code or any of the problems resolved. That'll provide us the ability for a fleet of any size to keep the truck from going down. That way the truck is up on the road, continuously moving, and never lose any downtime. So let's look at the individual kits. There are two kits available. 3075, which is known as the Diagnostic Configuration Bundle. Those components include the following items. They'll include the EasyTap device. So you'll notice that it has lights to indicate which protocol I'm working on. J1708, J1939, or control area network, as well as I have power, and it also tells you whether I have the wireless signal. The EasyTap device is a 9-pin connector for J1939. It provides the ability to slide on to the truck connector, but if I need to work on a 1708, J1708 6-pin connector, there is a cable to physically convert from 9-pin to 6-pin. It also has a wireless easy base that is 802.15.4, physically set for 100 foot of wireless signal. This device will tell you that it is communicating to the wireless with the LEDs, plus that the power is there. The second kit, 3085, is also a wireless device, 802.15.4 for my wireless connector. It uses two components, the EasyBase extended range with a, an antenna for 300 foot of wireless and it also comes with the EasyTap device with the same set of LEDs. One to indicate J1708, another one to indicate J1939 and also power and wireless. This is also a 9 pin adapter but the difference here is this is not a slide on. This device physically when I slide it onto the, the vehicle connector, the actual truck connector, what happens is I have a locking component. I will twist it to lock it into place on the truck for permanent access. The EasyTap 3085 telematics kit also has an optional long range antenna. You have an optional antenna that you can get that will give you up to a thousand foot of range. This can be mounted outdoors or indoors giving you the ability to have 1,000 foot of local telematics range. 802.15.4 is a narrow bandwidth short burst wireless signal. The vehicle transmits peer to peer from the vehicle to the computer through the wireless extended range base or the easy base. That concludes our basic overview of the EasyTap kits. Let's go ahead and start the truck and do some testing. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clip on Easy Launch. When I do, it'll open up my EasyTap software. What you'll notice right now is I've got two things on my EasyTap Launch. Easy Track and Cummins. I could have whatever I want. Caterpillar, Eaton, Allison, International, any of the op OEM software. I'm going to go ahead and open up Easy Track. It'll go look for the vehicle. Once it finds the vehicle, I'll go ahead and double click on that vehicle. Now it's going to go open up Easy Track. When it opens up Easy Track, you'll see that it will physically allow us to look at what's available. Right now I got a fault code. In a few moments it will bring up our telematics software so we can look at the telematics report for this truck. And there's my telematics report. It will tell me when the truck went out, when the truck came back in, how many miles, the fault code, and what modules were tested. Now we looked at EasyTrack and we know we got a fault code. Let's go back to the OEM software and do some OEM testing. I'm going to close out EasyTrack. I'm going to tap on my Cummins Insight software. Now we're going to open up our Cummins Insight software. When it opens up, 
It'll go look for the vehicle. Once it finds it, I'll double click on it. Opens up Insight, which is my OEM software that I have loaded. Once again, I can load any OEM software I want to. I'll tap on Connect TCM. I'll click on Connect, which will go out looking for my actual EasyTap device. And when it's looking at my EasyTap device, once it finds it, we'll be ready to begin. We're wireless, 802.15.4. As a result, I can go out to any vehicle that might be in my yard and I can go look for it and find it and determine which one I want to bring in for repairs. That's the nice part about it. Plus, I have telematics where if I look at the truck as it comes into my yard, I can go ahead and look at the vehicle as it comes in. Now that it's opened up my EasyTrack software, I'm going to go ahead and tap on fault codes. It'll come up with all my fault codes. You notice I got a live fault code. The one in dark is actual active. I'll tap on 0434, which is my fault code. When I double click on it, up will come my soft code repair information available to me. This is OEM software repair information direct from Cummins. It'll tell me what my file code is, what the reason of it is, the effect, and how to repair it. I'm going to close that out. I'll then close out my file codes. I'm going to go to data monitors. When I go to data monitors, it'll open up my data stream that I can look at, which is the information about how the truck is running, of all the sensors and actuators. In a minute, that'll open that up. Once it does come up, I'll go ahead and click on all parameters. As it opens all parameters in a minute, you'll notice all my parameters are there to my right. Any parameter that's out of range will come up in the upper left. It'll be red in color, highlighted in red. And in a minute, it'll become my particular parameter. I'm going to go ahead and click on camshaft position sensor. That's what I want to look at and see what the range is. And now you'll notice in red is my ambient air temperature where it failed. Now that I've looked at my data loggers, let's go do some ECM diagnostics. I'll close my data monitors out. Click on ECM diagnostics. I'm going to click on cylinder cutout test. I'll click on next. Open up my software. I'm now going to hit start. My engine RPM will appear. I'm going to go ahead and cut out cylinder number one. You'll hear the engine RPM drop out. Turn cylinder number one back on. Turn cylinder number two off. Engine RPM drops. Turn cylinder number two back on. Turn cylinder number three off. Engine RPM drops. Turn cylinder number three back on. Turn cylinder number four off. Engine RPM drops. Turn cylinder number four back on. Turn cylinder number five off. Engine RPM drops. Turn cylinder number five back on. Turn cylinder number six off. Now we're going to go ahead and turn cylinder number six back on. And we'll shut the truck off. Now that we've shut our truck off and we've completed our testing with Cummins software, let's go ahead and talk about what EasyTap is once again. EasyTap is a wireless heavy duty scan tool. Wireless 802.15.4, a very powerful narrow bandwidth wireless component that allows you to be peer-to-peer -peer from a laptop or a computer to your truck. I can use it as a telematics device to look for fault codes as the truck pulls into a yard and look at the mileage going in and going out and what the gas mileage is and the length of time that's been out. And then I can use it as a yard diagnostic tool. I can go out to the yard, determine exactly which truck has what fault code and which truck I want to bring in at what time. Once again, I can use it as a diagnostic tool to determine what fault codes or data stream or any other issues that are there, look at the repair information that the OEM gives me, and I can go ahead and try to solve the problem with this truck and get it back on the road again. This tool, the heavy duty easy tap diagnostics tool, can have any OEM software I want on, as many as I want on, the laptop. I can have Caterpillar, Cummins, Eaton, Allison, Meritor, Wabiter, International, any of the software of the OEMs that I need. It is 802.15.4 wireless, and it is a very powerful wireless for us to use. Thank you, and have a great day.